Hey YouTube, I figured I'd upload a video of this tank. Uh, we're right in the path of the blizzard that's hitting the northeast here in the next day or two. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to lose power, and if I do, I don't have any battery backup, so I'm basically just going to be doing a ton of water changes a day. Um, I also wanted to kind of talk about my recent battles with Ick and uh, kind of show off the shrimp in this tank and how well they're doing. So kind of in that order, the uh, Ick came in. I got seven new Neon Tetras for a school with a total of 15. Uh, three of them brought Ick, and of those, the two that were the most infected have already died. Um, the third one seems to have pulled through, and they shared it with two of my already established neons plus the honey garami up there uh, at one point the honey garami had I could count 12 ick spots on her um, the most on the neons the most infected ones had 15 or 20 they were really bad uh, the rest of the neons all got two or three by the time they were by the time I think I got it under control um, I know everybody has their own way of treating ick I raised my water temperature from 79 to 82 to speed up the life cycle of the disease-causing organism. Uh, most of the treatments that are for it only target its free-swimming life stage, which means that you have a very narrow window of opportunity to kill it, so it takes quite a while to kill everything in the tank. So in addition to raising my water temperature, I treated with Paragard from Seachem. It's a mix of methylene blue and a couple of other antiparasitic compounds. It seems to have done the job. Most of the ick spots are gone. I also did a 5 gallon, so a 15% water change every day for the first four days that I had it and then on the fifth day I did a big 10 gallon or 30 percent water change after that I haven't changed the water for two days now I will probably do one more water change before the blizzard hits just so that there's fresh water and low nitrate in there because I don't know when the next time is that I'll be able to keep filters running on it I also want to show off the shrimp here They've really colored up. Here's a couple of males hiding behind the moss. But they've really colored up since they have been in this tank for a couple of weeks now. There's about 20 shrimp in this tank now. Of those, I can usually count about 10 or 12 at a time. None of them have been breeding yet, but I have three saddled females in here. I'm hoping they'll be buried soon. So here you can see the honey garami is feeling camera shy. There she is. She usually likes to be on camera. She comes right up front when I'm at the tank. But you can see she doesn't have any ick spots on her anymore. So that's good. And my neons are doing really well. They're starting to turn the really dark blue and red. Um, I feed a pretty varied diet. The main staple though is New Life Spectrum. Here's the entirety of the tank. All of the crypts are now growing in new growth. They're doing really well. I don't know if you've caught earlier in the video, but you can see there's all sorts of bright green growth down at the bottom of those 
crypts, they're doing really well. Over here at these crypts, they've all got new leaves that they're shooting up. And then over here, these crypts are doing really well. In addition to the water sprite back here, it's sending up some new shoots. So I'm anticipating it'll be reaching the top of the water here in the next couple of weeks. I also kind of wanted to show you guys what I feed the tank, also for my own records. Uh, this is the Paragard that I use to treat the tank with. And then these are the main staple foods. If I can get the light to work right. New Life Spectrum Thera A. It's got garlic in it. Garlic apparently helps fish immune systems. I don't know how true that is because it's only on forums. Uh, brine shrimp. These are little cubes. You can stick them to the glass. They're a lot of fun to watch eat. I get the ones with spirulina in them because that's some plant protein. Bloodworms. And then some Daphnia. I usually feed this tank twice a day. The others get fed once a day. Alright, thanks for watching.